sure. Uh, it was, gosh, a year ago, pilot season, and um, I was just reading a bunch of scripts, you know, trying to go out and get a job, and um, and the script obviously stuck out like a sore thumb for me because yep. it was about essentially my world. You know, it seemed too good to be true to have a, a show on TV about Broadway. Mm. Um, and so I immediately wanted to be a part of it in any way possible. Mm. Um, and why is that so rare, do you think, theatre being shown so so entirely, so candidly on, on TV? I don't know. I don't know why. I, I, I honestly have don't know why this hasn't been done before. Mm. You know, um, I can't tell you how many times I've been in a show and I've looked around going, where, where are the cameras? Because there, there is more drama happening back here than there is on stage. Uh, so I think um, it's, it's a brilliant idea for a mm. series because the possibilities are endless. Yeah. Um, how has your previous stage work helped you with this role? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, uh, I think it has everything to do with this role because uh, Ivy Lynn is somebody who eats, breathes, sleeps theater. Mm. And um, and that's kind of how I've been <laughs> my whole life. And uh, so everything that I've done up till this point completely informs this character mm. and, and what she's going through in, in the show. And um, looking at your previous credits, it's almost like you've been drawn to Iconic Blondes. You were previously in 9 to 5 that's playing. M- that's my thing, yeah. <laughs> 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 um, can you tell me a bit about um, stepping into nine to five and, and playing the role so iconically portrayed by? Um, it was terrifying. Dolly Parton, then, Dolly yeah. Parton? who is she? <laughs> yeah, what has she ever done? Um, only uh, everything. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was terrifying. I was so excited uh, initially, and then I realized that I was going to have to do her role in front of her every mm. day in the rehearsal room. Yeah. Because um, she wrote all the music, so she was there all the time. And she's so lovely. I, I actually developed a saying, what would Dolly do? Mm-hmm. Uh, because in every, <laughs> every aspect of her life, she carries herself with such composure and, and, and she's so down to earth. Uh, she'll go up to anybody and talk about anything and, and be as real as possible. And then switching to another iconic blonde, you're now taking on playing Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, who's next? <laughs> <laughs> How do you go uh, about approaching playing somebody who is so iconic and is loved by so many people? Well, first you have to understand that you're never going to please everybody. Mm. Um, uh, uh, You know, people are going to be outraged by something. Mm. (laughs) Um, So I had to come to terms with that. Um, Playing Dora Lee in in 9 to 5 helped Mm. me with prepare for that kind of mindset. Um, But... uh, I, I've read almost everything on her, and I continue to read about her uh, because there's so much out there, and and uh, there are so many storylines within uh, within Smash that parallel her life stories. That um, that whether or not my character is playing Marilyn at the moment, there's something uh, that can be taken from from those stories. And then playing Marilyn within the character of playing Ivy, that's. Yeah, more, more. but it's it's kind of great because I can hide behind Ivy Lynn mm. a little bit, and I can say, oh well, that's not me playing Marilyn. That's yeah. that's Ivy Lynn playing Marilyn. Because mm. <laughs> Ivy doesn't exactly have an easy time of it. No, she doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have to say, um, working with Bernadette Peters, can you tell me a bit about that and uh, having Ivy's mum be played by Bernadette Peters? Well, for me, it was yet another thing about this job that was it was another dream come true moment. Because she was my idol mm. growing up. She was the reason why I wanted to become a performer in the first place, like in specifically in musical theater. Um, she's the only person I've ever written a fan letter to. Uh-huh. Um, and when they told me she was going to play my mom, you know, she's not just going to be in the show. She's going to play your mother, and you're going to have all these intimate scenes with her, you know. Uh, it, it, it's unbelievable, and she she's oh, she it, she was so wonderful to work with, and and still is. I mean, she's a big part of the show, um, and and the the scenes that they gave us together are just heart wrenching. Um, they have a very um, tumultuous relationship, and um, but it's beautiful at the same time. 
So it, I'm constantly pinching myself, you know, <laughs> and trying not to act like a complete idiot when she's around because I'm still starstruck by her. Can you tell me on that note about any of your other favorite cameos? Oh, uh, Smashing to be littered with the, I, the cream of Broadway. Yes, uh, I mean, they're all my friends, you know. Um, it's so great looking around the makeup trailer and, you know, the transportation and when we're in the vans and it's all my friends, you know, from that I've either gone to school with or done community theater with or done a Broadway show with, you know. It, it's it's fantastic that, that they're they're doing this right and they're, um, they're casting people mm. from the community uh, to, to represent it, essentially. And how does it feel to be in a, a TV show that seems to be so well supported by, by Broadway? Uh, very lucky, mm. you know. Um, uh, it's, it's an honor to get to represent that community on TV, and, and I'm so happy that everybody's really rallied around it. Mm. And they should. I mean, it's employing everybody. <laughs> And, and hopefully it sparks uh, a new kind of love for Broadway, mm. you know, um, which is needed, mm. in my opinion. Um, so, so yeah, people should be. <laughs> this might be jumping ahead a bit, but there's rumors that um, Bombshell, the show that comes from Smash, will eventually make it onto stage. Do you think that? It's a great rumor, and I'd love, yeah. to, see, I'd love to see the show. Um, unfortunately, it really does take years to, to create a musical. Mm. Uh, and while this would I, be the most fantastic advertisement for... I mean, right? It's the greatest <laughs> idea ever. And, um, and Marilyn is, is the... Her life story is the perfect... Um, uh, 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 story for, for a musical. Mm. Um, just because in a good musical, the, the songs uh, are the parts where, um, uh, they come in parts where, where words alone can't really express, um, what's, what's happening in the story. Mm. And, um, and, and her life, her life took so many crazy twists and turns and I think it really calls for those musical moments. And how has your life changed going from being a Broadway star to being on national TV every night and now all over the world? Um, how has it changed? Uh, well, I am, my days are a lot longer. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I went from working five hours a night to mm. 16 hour plus days, uh, which is great. Um, I don't know. It's it's exciting. It's exciting. Mm. Has it changed the type of roles that you're being offered? You're obviously now having to work around filming, but I know you're doing Gentlemen Prefer Blondes this, uh, shortly. And Isn't that exciting? I, I'm, I, I'm thrilled to get to go do a, a stage show mm. after all of this. <laughs> and um, I believe that Smash is coming back for Series 2 and that you've already signed on. Is that yep. correct? Yeah. Um, what's going to... I believe... Um, that by the end of series one, that will be the show tryout in Boston. But what have we got to look forward to in se season two? I have no idea. I'm I'm just as excited as everybody else because the how they've left it, um, they really could go a number of different ways. Um, the the finale was, uh, I mean, there's such huge cliffhangers for everybody. So I can't wait to find out what happens to. <laughs> Um, you said you'd seen Matilda, but are there any roles that you'd love to play on the West End, perhaps, instead of Broadway? Oh, gosh. I'd just love to do anything. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it would be a real honor to, to play here. Miss Trunchbull, perhaps? Oh, I could totally make... <laughs> I could totally play Mrs. Trunchbull. Um, Miss Trunchbull. Miss Trunchbull. Yeah. Great. Um, <laughs> I think that's me. I think we're about to be rugby tackled out of my seat. It's been an absolute <laughs> pleasure. Thank you. Great.